السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته So Alhamdulillah, last time I explained the virtues of Surah Fatiha and why we should be reading the Quran and understanding it. And so I wanted to give a small hadith in which the Prophet وسلم, he says, In, this, in actually a surah, Allah says, وَلَا تَجْهَرُ بِصَلَاتِكْ وَلَا تُقَافِثْ بِهَا وَبْتَغِي بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ سَبِيلًا And offer your salah, neither aloud nor in a low voice, but follow a way between, meaning with your recitation of the Qur'an and the Sahih, related from Ibn Abbas in the last hadith. Allah Azza wa Jal has said, I have divided the prayer between myself and my servant into two halves. A half for me and a half for my servant. My servant shall have what they have asked for. Allah Azza wa has said in the Quran during the Salah, which is one of the prayer's greatest pillars, hence the word Salah was used here. Although only a part of it was actually being referred to, that is reciting the Quran. And similarly, the word recite was used where prayer is meant as demonstrated by Allah Azza wa and which he said, وَقُرْآنَ الْفَجْرِ إِنَّ قُرْآنَ الْفَجْرِ كَانَ مَشْهُودًا And recite the Qur'an in the early dawn. Verily the recitation of the Qur'an in the early dawn is ever witnessed. And so this is in reference to the Fajr Shullah. The two Sahih recorded that the angels on the night and the angels of the day attend this prayer. So reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, as we all know, Right? It's mandatory and it's required in every rak'ah. All of these facts testify to the requirement that reciting the Qur'an, Surah Fatiha, in the prayer is required. And that all of the scholars have this consensus. Whoever performs any prayer in which he did not recite Um Al-Qur'an, his prayer is incomplete. And the last two Sahih recorded that Ubadah bin Samit said that the Messenger of Allah said, there is no prayer for whoever does not recite the opening of the book. Inshallah. And so these are just, once again, just from Ibn Kathir, Tafsir Ibn Kathir, um, continuing on the virtues and on the importance of Surah Fatiha. So may Allah Azza wa accept from us and make us study the Tafsir of the Quran and understand it, why these ayahs were revealed, what are the benefits of it, and how we can implement it in our lives. May Allah accept all of our ibadat, all of our salah, all of our dua, and accept all of that we have done in this Ramadan, and to make us better, and to stay where we have, and to be better every Ramadan. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.